What's up, Duelist? Your boy is back, and today I'm playing a banger deck. This is a deck that was designed by Roundhook called Frogburn that he played to top in RBET, and it was subsequently played by other players such as Homam Jamal to top further RBETs. And speaking of RBETs, this weekend is another online RBET, so make sure you're tuned in if you want to watch, and make sure you're in the really big Yu-Gi-Oh! Discord if you want to play. Signups open tomorrow morning, so... Make sure you're there for that. Um, and then also, if you want to sign up for any of the IRL RBTs, you can check all the links in the description below to sign up for those. Banger events, biggest Edison format tournaments of the year, best prize pools for Edison format tournaments of the year. You don't want to miss them. You get to meet all the cool Edison players. That's the vibe. Anyway, on to this tournament or this deck or this eight man that I'm playing in. Anyway, the way this deck works is... You burn your opponent, and then you buy time, and then you burn them some more, and then you buy time, and then you kill them. That's how it works. <laughs> it's pretty much just a burn deck that also plays like a frog monarch engine. I like this deck a lot because the sideboard makes me happy. It's just five three ofs. I also like this deck a lot because it gets to play a lot of the most powerful cards in the format. I think Substitute is one of the most powerful cards in the format. I think that Lava Golem is one of the more powerful cards in the format that just doesn't really have a good home. And I think that Threatening Roar is actually a really strong card. Very slept on card. Um, anything that says your opponent can't play the game is a, is a powerful card. So anyway, let's go ahead and hop into our, our match. We will host. We will host. Our opponent is Dragon Kai. He will be here shortly. I believe he is taking a moment. But yes, this weekend's going to be a banger for content. There's going to be, um, you know, obviously tomorrow's going to be the RBET tailgate stream. Then Saturday's RBET day one. Then Sunday's RBET top eight. Then Monday's RBET top eight deck list. You guys already know. You guys know. It's been, it's been enough RBETs. This is the third year of RBETs. You better know. You better know. This is the third year I've been doing this tournament series, which is actually kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy to reflect on this being a tournament that's happened for three years now um i don't really have um i don't know i'm like a little bit of reflection a little bit of a post reflection my goal was to throw the biggest edison tournaments and um i kind of do that <laughs> so now it's like i need a new goal i need a new goal for the rbets and i'm not sure exactly what the new goal is going to be because we're doing some really cool stuff with the irl ones um, obviously we're doing a, a two day one. We're doing a, uh, we're doing the 500 capacity one in Maryland. We're doing one in New York, which is super cool. So those are like some new things, obviously things I've never done before. So it's kind of cool to do something new, but I think I need a bigger goal. I think I need something to like motivate me to, to do something bigger, but I'm not exactly certain what that looks like. We have a message from the champ. Oh, it's him. Okay. Uh, might be, might be, might be. Good luck. Have fun. Okay, cool. Cool. So we're playing against the champ 2020. Let's pick rock. It was either this or Norlaris. Okay. All right. Well, I'm glad it wasn't Norlaris then. See, as, as it appears as though we are going second, which happens more frequently than it should to me specifically see i go second so that everyone else can go first more often i take the take the arrow to the knee for my edison friends for my edison compatriots this hand is good this hand is just like solid now i'm not sure the best way to play it i think we have to Substitute activate and just get treeborn ASAP. Okay. Normal substitute, priority activate. This gets swap frog. Swap frog will use his effect to send. I'll send treeborn to the graveyard. Now, a couple of options here. We could uh, return the swap frog, use the extra frog normal to normal unifrog attack um directly and then set wabaku i don't hate that play it says good thing no norlaris yeah good thing 
would have been hard for us to beat, I think. I think I like that play a little bit less because I want to save my Wabaku. So I'm going to pass. I want to use Lava Golem if possible. I think Lava Golem is how I want to approach this game. Goblin Zombie. Okay. Um, interesting. Hmm. So it's a zombie deck. Possibly Diva Zombie. Well, we just die here if he has Diva. Like, we're just dead on board. Like, if he has a reasonable hand here, we should die. Okay, thank goodness. It's only an 1100 poke. Damn, losing Heavy Storm sucks. <laughs> that is the worst thing we could have milled. Oh, he didn't set anymore, thank God. Dude, what is with these draws? Average frog draws. Okay, he didn't give us another monster for um, the guy, for Lava Golem. So what we want to do now is, is actually we want to normal summon Swap Frog and activate his effect to send... And send... No, do we want to activate his effect to send? Actually, I don't know if we do. We might want to send another Swap Frog. So I'll do that. I'll normal Swap Frog and activate his effect to send. He may chain Torrential. Okay. So this is going to send another Swap Frog. Um, and then I can bounce the Swap Frog to my hand. Then extra normal. Normal Unifrog. Now we have Unifrog plus Treeborn Frog in play, which is pretty cool. Okay, he's going to think on the summon here. Does he want to Torrential? If he doesn't Torrential, then, I mean, we we get to um, do the thing, basically. We get to pop his back row. He says, okay. All right, so let's go ahead and attack directly for 400. Activate, yeah, let's Torrential. So that means he very likely has Kaya's. Um, which sucks for us. I don't think there's really a great way for us to deal with that. It would make sense. That's what would be in his hand. Kaya's, he's like waiting on that. But alas, we will chill out. We will chill and vibe. I will set the Wabaku now. Lava Golem looking a little silly, but that's okay. In Homam Jamal's list, he plays Light and Darkness Dragon, and he also plays Vanity Fiend in the main. We can take a look at the list in between rounds if our list, um, or if our game finishes soon. He's going to use his Typhoon because it's otherwise dead versus frogs, so might as well use it now. We'll chain the Wabaku. I really like Wabaku. It's one of my favorite cards. I like the art. I like the way the colors pop on the... Um, on the purple backdrop. Like the yellow and the blues on the purple looks really cool. It's one of my favorite cards that deserves, I don't know if it has a foil treatment, but I don't think, I think the highest rarity is like a, like a dual terminal or something like that right now. Um, but it absolutely deserves a foil treatment. Like a, I feel like um, a collector's rare Wabaku would look really nice. There's no reason for this to matter because we have Wabaku. XD, yes. Yes, he's just doing it for the memes. What did he search for? I didn't even see. It was Mizuki, right? Um, Zombie Master, okay. Well, that's pretty good then. So we drew Threatening Roar, which means... Pitch Special Swap. Normal Turbo Rocket. Goyo Steel the Caius. It's kind of cool. Set Threatening Roar. But then he has Zombie Master, Pitch, Plague, Make Bionic, Bounce his own Caius. I don't love that. But he'll have to pitch a lot of cards to do that, and we'll still have the Treeborn Frog in the grave, so. Hmm. This is actually really hard. I think these this marshmallow and this lava golem have been really terrible. Putting treeborn frog in the grave is also bad because of Book of Life. It's our last treeborn frog. So the fact that our treeborn got banished here was really stupid on our part. 
I don't think there's really a great play here. I think it's normal swap, activate, send the other swap. Um, battle phase, unifrog attack directly. And then Main phase two set threatening roar. And it just pass. It's either pass or we bounce the swap frog. We may need to bounce the swap frog. Hmm. No, it's just too risky. It's just too risky. This is not a good situation for your boy. I need to bait him into summoning more monsters so I can lava golem him. That's basically the only way I have this. Dude, why isn't he summoning more? What the heck? All right, threading roar. Uh, in battle, in battle. Yeah, me too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Okay. Main two is gonna be. What is he gonna do? Oh, he's gonna commit. Okay, perfect, perfect. That means I can at least lava golem him. Which I don't even know if that's going to be good or not. Oh, Wabaku means it's probably going to be good. So, we can go... Attack directly for 400. Switch the Swap Frog to defense. Battle phase, Unifrog attacks for 400. Unifrog getting us 1200 damage is pretty good. Uh, main phase 2... Switch the swap frog to defense. Special lava golem. Sacrificing his two monsters. Perfect. That's actually a really good sacrifice. Although it does give him three darks for dad. Now I'm thinking I actually want to bounce the swap frog because he could possibly have dad. So I'm going to bounce the swap frog to my hand. Set the wabaku and extra normal tree born. No, because then he sacks for Kaius. I don't like that. Okay, we'll just pass. So Lava Golem's gonna deal him a thousand. He's gonna drop to minus one thousand. He's gonna drop to fifty eight hundred. We're not really making a lot of progress here. This is probably our worst matchup because of fucking Book of Life. That card is such a problem. I, this is probably a worse matchup than Norlaris, unironically, because at least Norlaris we can like get Treeborn and Grave. It says Fader is a card. I have back row still too. But we just our hand is really bad. I actually think Marshmallow is a terrible card. He says Wabaku quite my Of course it's Wabaku. <laughs> That's all my deck play is, is Wabakus. <laughs> it just constantly Wabakus you. It's six Wabakus. We are in a weird spot card advantage wise. Like I don't really know how we're up cards right now. Or not up, but all right. So he's drawn Heavy Storm and Typhoon, but both times we've gotten our chainable off, which is really nice. He can sack the Lava Golem for Caius, or he can bounce it for with Bionic. But bouncing with Bionic is a little silly. He's got Zombie Master, four unknowns, three darks, and Grave. A lot of potential for grave manipulation. End phase. Just going to pass the turn back. This is where things get a little tricky. Main phase two, perhaps? I was wondering if there was a way I could have summoned the Treeborn. I was a little bit worried about him having a second Caius because he's been like really passive with his hand. So pass, we draw. Enemy controller. Okay. Can we win the game this turn then? Let's see. I believe we can. So, it starts off like this. We pitch special swap frog. I will not activate the swap frog. Normal turbo rocket. We basically just have to hope he doesn't have Book of Moon. Otherwise, we just fucking lose. But, um, now we synchro with the, 
Well, it doesn't matter, because whatever else we're going to have to sacrifice for, to the enemy controller and hope he doesn't have gores. If he has gores, then it's just like, Jover. He could have gores. Hmm. Big think. If I hit him for, he's at 58. I need to hit him for 48 exactly. I just need to hope he, has, he doesn't have gores. All right. Yep. Doesn't matter. Let's take the lava golem. All right. We'll synchro into armory arm. Yeah. He just doesn't have it. I'm, um, no gores, no trag. 1800. Bruh, he didn't have it. Wow. He had dark armed. And he wasn't drawing Book of Moon. Crazy. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Hell yeah. Okay, wow. That actually was way closer than it needed to be. But that's a that's a tough matchup. This matchup is gonna be hard. <coughs> oh god. This matchup's gonna be really hard. I think Marshmallow's pretty bad. I think Mirror Force, Magic Cylinder, yeah, they may have some applications, but Vanity Sphine for sure is good. It's just really hard. Actually, Marshmallow might be necessary just to like give us tribute fodder. He played around Lava Golem hella like well. Why do we not have Battle Fader in this build? I feel like Battle Fader. I guess we have the triple threat, triple Lava Coup, and the two Battle Face stops. Yeah, this matchup's gonna be hard. Like on God. All right, Gores is mandatory. Storms. Space Typhoon, mandatory. Do I ever want just Soroko to just start beating down? That'd be pretty funny. I'm not gonna lie. He's gonna have hella ways to stop, like, our stuff. Flip Flop Frog is interesting. He's pretty good, especially with the threatening roars and Wabakus and shit. Turbo Rocket's pretty good. He's probably our worst payoff. Like, he's probably worse than Vanities. Marshmallow was bad. I'll, I'll just outright say it. Marshmallow was bad. I'm going to cut one creature swap because, like, he can just always have Goblin Zombie in play. Um, and that's, like, just silly for us. Book of Moon is interesting. This stops Dinah and those types of cards, but I don't think he plays those types of cards. I'll do Vanities over something. I do want the third vanities. I think it's super important. Almost synchroed for Colossal Fighter. How would you have done that? I guess Zombie Master, Pitch Plague, Special Plague, Special Dad. Stack for Synchro, Bionic, Bounce the... I don't know. How would you... Either way, I mean, I think I am winning that game. I could be wrong, though. Because if you make Colossal Fighter, he has Dad in play. No, yeah, I might have lost. I just need the third Vanities, like, on God. And I do need Crows, so I don't get, like, fucking owned as well. I'm not exactly certain the best way to sideboard in these matchups. I think Swap Frog is not that good. I think Crows is better than maybe Turbo Rocket, maybe. And then Crows better than Creature Swap. Now, Crows probably better than, like, Mirror Force. And Magic Cylinder, because he's just going to, like, always clear my back row, like, always Bionic me. So I don't think Magic Cylinder is ever going to be that good. Like, these spot burn spells are not going to be, like, ideal. Maybe I'll leave in the Swap Frog, just Swap Frog, Turbo Rocket, Creature Swap, Air Force. I'm not sure which is better, which of these cards is the best to have in. I'm going to go with Swap Frog just so we have maximum consistency. But I don't really know which is best. It might be better to have the mirror force in than the third swap frog um i'm not sure how to play this matchup that well okay this hand is okay it will work it will it will do the job <sighs> fuck off okay never mind hmm I guess if I set Substitute, that works. 
There's no reason for me to set back row. I'll just pass. This card is pretty good. Uh, it's not something you normally see in zombies, though. Because they activate a lot of effects. But I guess it makes sense. You know, going first, you just bring them in and you, you prevent me from doing stuff. I think you can swap frog, return to hand for cost, and just kills Doom Caliber. And because Swap Frog's no longer in the place where it was when it was negated, it actually doesn't get destroyed. Someone was telling me that, like, recently, and I was like, oh, that's stupid. But I guess it makes sense. Not really. It makes sense. It's kind of like the uh, Gladiator Beast when they shuffle into the deck and they get negated by oppression. Um, it's like that, basically. All right, so we've got a wall. He can commit further here if he wants to but it doesn't look like he wants to which is pretty cool for us treeborn's a good draw i'll set it and i'll pass he might attack it he might not though so if he kaiuses us he's gonna kaius the set monster that's pretty bad i should have thought about that Actually, I should have thought that through. Yeah, that was pretty stupid of me, actually. Hmm. He may go like normal goblin zombie, flip his own torrential or something like that. But we'll see. We got really lucky last game. We drew enough, like, mixture of Wabaku, and then we drew the perfect enemy controller. Oh, this is so good. This is best case scenario. Oh, actually, he doesn't die. Actually, actually, it doesn't die because of sub. Yeah, it doesn't die. It just flips face up. Yeah, this is why this was stupid because it won't die. Um, yeah, that was really stupid. <laughs> I just like threw this card away. Basically, if he has Caius or... Because, like, is there a world where I'm like... I, next turn, I act face up to pop the Doom Cow. Hmm... I think it's just Sack for Vanity's attack. I think that's pretty safe. Or do I want to rise at a bait the back row? Oh, it won't bait the back row, though. Vanity's baits the back row. And then we'll go battle phase, attack. I'll take 500. Okay, cool. Well, that's good. That's really good news. Main phase two, I can set Threatening Roar Wabaku, I guess. Or I don't have to set at all. I think I will. I'll set Wabaku and pass. Um, but I, I also didn't really need to set Wabaku here. He can't special summon. And he can't out the vanities. Because this card didn't out the vanities. So I'm not really sure what that back row is, or what it represents. It might be a pulling the rug. That would make the most sense, actually. Yeah, it might be pulling the rug. That's another reason why you want triple vanities, just so you can play through pulling the rug more effectively. I think we're okay here. He has to have like a very specific combination of cards to pressure us because it has to be like s s seven tools of the bandit plus like brain something yeah i will gladly swing vanity's fiend into any back row like if it's a mirror force i will gladly let that happen huh all right let's see what's up Goblin Goblino. It's the Goblino, dude. He's out here. New back row might be Torrential Tribute then. Because he didn't stop the swing. If it's Torrential, you just search either Mizuki or Goblin Zombie. And then you just summon into your own Torrential. Uh, we can't really do anything, so we just pass. 
We may need to set another Wabaku soon in case he finds Typhoon or something like that. Still new back rows. I would love to draw Heavy Storm. That would be really good. One time for the fans, question mark. All right, let's attack. Sangin. Okay, so he's kind of handcrafting right now, which is fine. Um, that's good for him, but we are getting a lot of mileage out of this Vanities Fiend. I'm not going to set anything further. Well, actually, he could have like dust tornado and whatever he could have a dust tornado into a compulsory or he could have trap stun so i'm gonna set two i think it's just safer to set two i'm surprised he doesn't search reaper because reaper is kind of the the forcing play here um but yeah Reaper would be the ideal. Ah, brain control. Okay, so this is kind of what I was thinking would happen. He's gonna take the vanities. Okay, so there goes the vanities. Battle phase, he's going to attack. This is going to burn my Wabaku. Main phase two, sack for Caius. Sack for malicious, that's right, trivia sack for malicious. That does work. Um, cool. Well then. Passes the turn back. We draw Swap Frog. Alright, the situation for us is not great. If we commit further, we will lose a lot of value here. There's no real way to get around all this into Torrential. I have a high feeling he has Torrential. So because he has Torrential and I want to play around that, I am going to make the safe play, which would just sack subs the toad to go get um, Flip Flop Frog. Is it Flip Flop Frog? Yeah. Or I could get Dupe Frog. Let's go get Dupe Frog. This is better. And then I'll normal swap frog. Activate the effect? No, I won't activate effect. No effect. I'll just battle phase attack the malicious. Ah. Uh see what he wants to do. Malicious is gonna die. Main phase two, should I crow the malicious? It will allow him to dark end if he has plague, which he should have plague. He has zombie master in hand. He would have searched plague. Yeah, I should crow the malicious now. He could be setting up for a big return, but there's nothing I can do about that. So. Do we bounce the swap frog? I think the answer is no. We just pass. Brain control is gone, so just having him in play is good. I think getting the dupe frog first is best than the torrential. Because then, like, if he torrentials me, I don't. I'll chain. Chain. Okay, so. What he should be doing, or if you do end up playing against this deck, is you should save the Typhoon, hit it on my M phase. So then I can't Wabaku or Threatening Roar. And then, um, even if even if it does get chained, it's chained on my turn. And then on your turn, you're free to do whatever you want. So you should be sandbagging like your Typhoon for that reason. This here, I'm getting the full turn. I'm getting the Threatening Roar effect. Whereas, you could position it in a way where I would not get value out of the Threatening Roar effect. It's kind of the same, but... Okay, here comes Dark Arm Dragon. This is kind of what we were expecting. 
Um, he's going to pop both. Okay. Uh, do frogs effect is going to activate. I think the best one to have in hand is probably Unifrog right now. No, it's Swap Frog in case he DD Crows my Tree Frog. Cool. Okay. Um, nice. Now what? I'm staring down a Dark Arm Dragon. And I'm down a whole bunch of fucking cards. What is the game plan? Yep. Treeborn. Do you have uh, an effect? Okay. Anything. Okay, what's he gonna he's gonna mind crush here. Alright, what's he gonna mind crush? This is a total blind crush. Naming SWAT Frog. Alright. I'll show my hand. He sees I have Ryza, DD Crow, Turbo Rocket, a couple of Threatening Roars, or Wabaku Threatening Roar. Subtle difference. Pretty good Mind Crush. He's gonna get some intel. If I sack for Ryza, he could have Pulling the Rug, which I have been playing around thus far. So I'm gonna go for the Turbo Rocket play. I think it's a little better. So I'm gonna summon Turbo Rocket. So I'm gonna okay. Let's see if he does have the torrential. Mind crush makes sense. It's something that he couldn't have used, but had. Okay, we're gonna go turbo cannon. Priority. I'll priority pop the dark armed if if he doesn't have solemn. He may solemn it. Let's see if he wants to solve it. It's a pretty big swing for us. What does it do? Equal to half its attack. Does 1400 damage? Pops the dark armed. That's a pretty good swing for us, I would say. Uh, he's thinking if you should solve him. He knows my hand. Okay, so activate target dark armed. Pops. Now. I have to set both. No, I can set one and get away with it. Right? Zombie Master Plague, two unknown, two unknown. Unless it's specifically return, I think we should be okay. Unless it's specifically return in the back. Like return seven tools or return solemn. Okay, car trooper is fine. Gonna mill three. Oh, he's playing power well. Oh, return getting milled is so good. Oh my god, that's so good for me. This is an arc. Yeah, that would have been really good. Um, yeah. All right, he can attack, and I'll go Wabaku on the attack. Cool. So we can get another pop out of this guy, which is pretty cool. Or we could rise to his car trooper, or attempt to. I still think he's got pulling the rug, so not really sure. Hmm. Well, that's an insane draw. I will activate Treeborn. Special summon it. Now, if he does have um, Solemn Judgment, he has to activate it. This was such a good draw. It was like best possible. A literal insane top deck. Call of the Haunted. Target Goblin. I'll just chain crow on that. So. It was Heavy Storm and Torrential. He did have the Torrential. Wow. Finish that guy. Alright. Um, well. Let's just rise up his guy. This may be silly, then he can do some stuff. Um, but then we can attack. If he has Gorge, we can pop it with Turbo Cannon. I don't know why he um, set Heavy Storm. 
in this matchup. I feel like you'd want to use it, you know? He's got Car Trooper, Zombie Master, two unknowns. So we've got a good position here. We've been down cards pretty much this entire game, but we've got a good position. Yeah, that's good. He knows our cards. He knows all our cards, too. Here's e -Tilly. That makes perfect sense. He can't activate Zombie Master, so this is the only way. Oh, he can Black Rose. Okay, that's really good. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah, this is good. Okay, that's super fucking strong. Because now he's just up two cards, two full cards. And he's using the... Oh, God. Why? Why the alt art? Why? Oh god, it's so bad. It's so ugly. It's so ugly. You know how we were talking about how glorious the Wabaku art is? It's <laughs> just to mess with you. Oh, it's so bad. And I'm losing to it too. LMAO. Oh, that's so awful, dude. It looks so shitty. <laughs> it looks so bad. I'm sure there's an artist somewhere who d drew it who feels bad because I'm hating on it, but it's just so much worse, dude. All right, so we know Card Trooper and One Unknown. I think we can safely bring out Treeborn Frog to play around Book of Life. Although he can... He could possibly Card Trooper mill Mizuki into... Mizuki back Zombie Master, Zombie Master pitch, bring back Plague. He'd have to mill Mizuki Plague just to make um, Hades that turn. So I think would be all right. Or he'd have to draw Plague. Okay, there's Card Trooper. It's fine. He's going to mill cards. That's what that card does. We have him so close to dead. Okay, does shoot Phoenix Wing. That's good to know. All right. He's so close to dead. All right, he's going to attack the Tree Warren. Does he have a main phase two book of life? No, he doesn't. All right, Gores is good. Gores is hella good. I'll bring out the Treeborn again. I'll just force actions. He can mill three again. We drew three insane cards in a row. We drew Gores brain heavy. Or heavy brain Gores. Sorry, I said it in the wrong order, but that's fucking crazy, man. Hella good top decks. He mills mind control. Okay, good for us. Still no Mizuki hitting the grave. Mizuki was drawn. Okay. Unlucky. <laughs> Mill everything but Mizuki. Draw Mizuki. I'm sure that's what he's typing. Drew Mizuki. <laughs> Fayers. <laughs> Unlucky. Yep. Yeah, milling Mizuki obviously would have been fantastic for him. Alas. He's Dobbs. He's Dobbs. Ladies and gentlemen, our opponent is Dobbs. Never ceases to amaze and never bother. I mean, yeah, it's just like... What is it? Murphy's Law, but for milling? Okay, he's gonna... He's gonna get damage, but... He's gonna know. He's gonna know real quick. He's gonna know real quick. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna know... And he already normal, so there's no Caius. There's no anything. I mean, if there was Caius, he would Caius the tree worn a thousand percent. But it's over. It's just over. It's over on board. He's saying, hmm. <laughs> hmm, I, I may have lost. <laughs> I may have lost. Black Rose is gone. So if he does have a way to put a tuner in play, like Power Well, then he's going to have to make Bryonic, and he only gets one bounce, and then we can bring control whatever's left. And it's over. It's just over. It's just over. The fun part about this set is I open the nuts twice. <laughs> Any other deck loses. Yeah, I had some pretty wild top decks. Like heavy storm. That was a pretty good top deck. I can't lie. That's fine. That's the strength of threatening work. People. People don't understand. This card is broken. This card is broken. Like, look at what my opponent drew and look at what I drew. 
I drew a couple of Wabakus and a Ryza, and my opponent drew Heavy Storm, Torrential, Call of the Haunted, Mind Crush, Dark Arm, Brain Control, Space Typhoon, e Telly, like, and granted he could have sequenced this in a way to find the OTK. Uh, oh yeah, he even had the Doom Caliber on the start. He says, at least I didn't play bad. He definitely punted with the Typhoon and the Heavy. I will say that much. Um, I don't think bad is the right word. But I think he had avenues to victory. He just needed to recognize them. Which is hard to do when you don't have experience versus the frog burn deck. Um, and when this deck just punches people who don't have... Um, yeah. I've got it. Yeah. It's over. Let's just kill me with the treeborn. Okay. Okay. All right. Let's go battle phase. GGs. That was fun. That was fun. That was a good game. Even if he has track, we have the Caius now to win. Return mill. Yeah, I know, right? I know, right? That was a good one. That was a good one. I think we play against Gappy next. I think Gappy's playing quick draw he was watching our match and i think he was the other duelist all right so good game i i do think i do think sometimes you can draw broken cards and you think oh these broken cards will carry me but even broken cards need to be sequenced in um How do I say this? They need to be sequenced correctly. Like you can't just um you can't just like throw them at the wall and hope for them to work. I guess. Good luck, have fun. I'm pick rock. I'm pick paper. Alright, O2 rock, paper, scissors. The fucking classic, bro. Like I said, I lose rock, paper, scissors so that everyone else can stay winning. That's that's how it's it just is. That's just how life is. This hand is good. These spell cards are good. Enemy controller is like one of the best cards in this deck. If not the best card in this deck. Because it's just a big chunk burn spell. Big chungus. Chunga wunga burn spell. This matchup, if he's playing quick draw, which he always is, is going to be very hard. I think it's one of the hardest matchups. Oh, Treeborn. Creature Swap is bad against uh, Dandy Token deck, too. So I'm going to normal summon this. Oh. Okay. Activate. Go get Swap Frog. And now Engine is online. Effect Descend. It says that's one insane Solemn. I've Solemn to Substitute before. I, I don't know. I've definitely Solemn Substitute before. I don't think there's anything wrong with Solemning Substitute. Just pass. Okay, so we have Treeborn Increment coming next turn. He has no monsters, so I'm just, like, fucking chilling. I could even, like, leave the Swap Frog in play if I wanted to. How do I want to play this? Lava Golem, I'm a little unimpressed with. But maybe it'll do some work in this mashup at dealing with Titanial. Our hand is really reactive. But maybe that's okay. Um, I'll bring back Treeborn. I'll give him an opportunity to banish it. Let's see, Swap Frog is the normal. Effect to send. Chain. Torrential. All right. So they're going to get popped. And Swap Frog is going to send. At this point, probably just another Swap Frog. Don't really want to draw another one of those. So I'll pass. Could have been Flip Flap Frog too. But I don't know. It's like marginal. Because Flip Flap Frog is weaker than Swap Frog. So like, at least if we draw another Swap Frog, we can attack for a thousand, which is pretty good. 
But I'm chilling. I'm vibing. The second he commits a monster, we can just take it or blow it up. So, kind of chilling. He's just not committing monsters, which respectable. Tarantula's now gone, so this is kind of like free reign. I'm going to go Substitute. Okay. We'll activate. Good to go through all question mark. I'm going to go swap effect. This will send Substitute. Okay. Do I want to end on double dupe? Or do I want to try to bait some of the back row with Unifrog? Hmm. Not having Wabakus or Flip Flop Frogs is annoying. I think I want to bounce this. Pitch special to swap. No, that's stupid. I'll just keep going. So I'm not going to end on Flip Flop Frog, so I'm going to get rid of it. I'm just going to go Unifrog, Dupe Frog, because I want to force a deep prison and not play into Brain Caius if possible. I know he has a deep prison for sure. What the fuck? He doesn't have a deep prison? Well, shit. That's hella good for me. That's just the freest plus in the world. Okay. Brain Kaius here still works. But then we have ways to take the Kaius, so not a big deal. Or we could blow it up. But we don't have enough, like, Wabakus to really support this shit yet. He's got Quick Draw Pitch Debris, Sack for Kaius, Kaius Banish the Dupe. Makes sense. Tax for a thousand. So, pretty tough hand for him. He had to spend Quick Draw and Debris for Dupe and Unifrog. So that's a that's a lot of cards. That is in fact how you would say a lot of cards. There's one thousand more. Oh yeah, 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 my bad. Might be a typo. Um, cool. So special summon treeborn. Go main phase. I will try to creature swap. Cool. My Caius. Battle phase. Attack. I could commit more. Do I want to commit more here? I could also synchro into something, but then it just puts a monster in his grave. I'm just going to pass. We could randomly get owned, but it's very unlikely. He couldn't stop the play last turn, so I'm just going to go for the same play this turn. Which is bring out Treeborn Frog, steal his monster. Give him the Treeborn. Oh, he's going to Solemn. Okay, so there's the Solemn. Alright, we got the Solemn now. That's good. Do we have Mistworm? We should. We do. All right, perfect. Unfortunately, though, Mistworm does play into Bottomless. <sighs> do I care, though? Kind of. Turbo Rocket pops face-ups only, right? Yeah. Has to be face-up. Eh, fuck it. If it's not bottomless, we just win. So if it's like Typhoon or something like that, we just win. So I'm gonna go for it. Very both. Chain bottomless. Okay, so it was bottomless. Kind of as expected. But... Whatever. I guess. What is he doing next turn? Just setting... Passing... 
All right, we got to find 2150 damage. So Monarch off the top does it. That does not do it. These should just be Monarchs, I'm fairly certain. Man. All right, let's pass. There's no reason to set the cylinder because he could have like a Raiko. It's just kind of stupid. I want him to play another card so I can special the Lava Golem and then just enemy controller the Lava Golem and attack him for game. But I need him to play another monster in order to do that. Alright. Threatening War is chill. I'll set that. Please, just play another guy. Just summon another dude. Just summon another dude. Thank you. That's what I'm fucking talking about. That's what I'm fucking talking about, baby. Okay, now what? Sack for Caius. Caius target the back row. Chain threading roar. Okay. Awesome. Easy clap. Standby phase. Special treeborn. Main phase one. Special lava golem. Damn, lava golem is kino, dude. Winning with lava golem is like nut. <laughs> Gimme. <laughs> Gimme. Ah, oh, that's so fucking nasty, dude. I love this deck. This is like. This is one of the coolest decks that Roundix ever built. I mean, Roundix built so many cool decks, but man, this deck is really hard not to smile while playing this deck. It's so much fun. <laughs> Lava Golem is such a sweet card, dude. It's so sick. Oh my god, such cool card design. Like, just the way this effect works, it's like, you're gonna be cursed with the Golem now. <laughs> and then you, you take the Golem for yourself. Um... Hmm. How do we want to do this? This is a tough matchup. I actually think this matchup is very hard. Similar reasons as the last one. I think Vanities is very important. Um, I think Magic Cylinder and Mirror Force are two difficult ones to support. Although, he could have Vanity's Fiend. We have a billion other outs for it, so whatever. I'm going to cut one Turbo Rocket. He's probably at his worst in this particular matchup. Creature Swap is not great in this matchup. I'll just say it. It's not amazing. I do like Crows. Because it can interrupt his plays. Which I think is pretty important. Mirror Force does stop Titanial. Which is really hard for Ariac to beat. Hmm. We kind of have in 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 engine out in flip flop flog flip flop blah, blah, blah. flip flop frog though. I do like the monarchs. I don't hate Marshall on this matchup, but they can have Caius and Black Rose and that, so I'm gonna cut it. I I'll cut a creature swap. I I think even though it was good that game, it's very unlikely to be good because they just have tokens. I may need to cut another creature swap too, just for that specific reason. Although it does get better when we have DD Crow to stop the Dandelion. I should probably keep these in actually. Um, sure. Heavy Storm might not be great either, but this is fine. Normally, normally decks side out Starlight Road versus Frogs, or they should. This hand is pretty bad, but I can make it work because we have broken substitute. So. Right now, I'm not sure the game plan. If he loan sets, Treeborn Attack is kind of like the standard how you deal with Ryko play. Jesus, this hand is bad. Okay. Hmm. We could also sub into. If I lose this to a deep prison right now, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. But 
I'm going to do this play. I think this is the right play if it's Ryko. That is so fucking annoying. Holy shit. Who leaves in D prison versus frogs, dude? Oh, and I have Heavy Storm in my hand, too. I just got greedy with it. All right, don't play like an idiot. Rest of the game. Lava Golem. Never lucky, dude. Never lucky. This hand sucks. DD Crow was a mistake. I shouldn't have cited this in. I, like, almost want to admit defeat. That's how bad my hand is. But... Let's try it. Let's just try it. Maybe he has like hamster dandelion or something. I don't know. He doesn't have a Ryko. There's the Caius. That's kind of what I expected to happen here. Is this is going to get popped. This deck has just 8 trillion removal spells. So this is kind of expected. Watch. I'm going to draw my creature swap now. Okay. That's pretty good. That's actually pretty good. I mean, it's at least a start, right? So, Lava Golem, Sack the Caius, and the Set Monster. That's something, right? Yeah, okay. We can't summon this turn. I have to set Threatening Roar so I don't die. Okay. So, he's going to take Lava Golem's damage... Take a thousand. This is a matchup where I wish I had more Lava Golem. Like, I wish I had the third. Because it's really good in this matchup. As it stands, we are 100% dead here. I'll take 3,000. I don't need to burn a Threatening Roar on 3k. I need to burn it on the Lethal Attack. Here comes Debris, target Dandy. I'll Crow the Dandy. Why didn't he do that first? I guess he was playing around Mirror Force, something like that. He's gonna make Iron Chain? Okay. That's cool. That's fine. Hmm. Yeah, he should have forced the Mirror Force, I think. That would have been a better play. Enemy controller's good. Go Substitute. Activate. We'll get Swap Frog, activate, send Treeborn. Then I'll bounce the Swap Frog to my hand, and I will pass the turn. He takes a thousand. We're nowhere near beating him. I think that's the problem. Start battle. Threatening Roar. Yeah, we're just really far behind. I have some good ones, but they're not enough to win, unfortunately. Hmm. All right, draw his brain control. If I enemy controller the Lava Golem, I could bounce it with Swap Frog, but I have no way to stop the battle phase, and I can't do it the same turn I normal Swap Frog. Yeah, this is this is tough. I can bounce. I can take the Swap Frog, then bounce it. Then I'll take a thousand. Probably die. I need to deal a certain amount of damage to him. I need to use the enemy controller on his turn, basically. So, we need to... Brain control. Target Lava Golem. 
normal swap frog effect to send. I'll send uni frog because we have heavy storm and we don't want to draw uni frog. Um, battle phase, lava golem kills iron chain. He takes 500. Main phase two, swap frog bounces lava golem. And then we set enemy controller and we pass. I think this is the best play, but I'm not certain. Raiko is gonna pop the back row. I am gonna chain the enemy controller to uh, think on mode. If he has Caius, he Caius is the treeborn attacks the swap frog. If I take the Raiko, I die. So switch Raiko to defense. I can't afford to take it because then I die to a Caius when I otherwise wouldn't. Playing Airbellum. Hamster target, maybe? Pot of Avarice. Targets. He can double Avarice here, which is really cringe. Okay, I will crow the highest. Because if he has another one, I don't want him to draw Caius, basically. If he draws debris, it's like also bad, but it's not as bad because then he won't banish the tree worn. And then we at least have that, even though it shuts off our heavy storm if he makes Stardust. Okay, so he's playing into Lava Golem, which um Yeah, guess we heavy storm. That work that could not have worked out better for us. So I switch this to attack. Special lava golem sacking his two monsters. He knew about this lava golem. It's dandelion, he gets two tokens. Ooh, that fucking sucks. That sucks for me. Okay, so he has Dandelion now. Um, how do I do this? Battle phase. We attack each token. We have to do this. This is the only play. Is it creature swap? Yeah, but... This is still okay, I think. This is still okay. And I can swap frog, bounce the lava golem again, and then pass. Like this is not an ideal situation for us. We do die to a Caius. Brain control, okay. That's still not game. He needs to have another monster. Okay, that works. All right, cool. All right. Hmm. That was close. I think I'm gonna bring, nah, I don't know. He targeted the back row, that's really annoying. I think this is gonna be a hard one, no matter how you cut it. The DD Crows did end up getting mileage, but our hand was just not good. We just didn't draw a tribute monster besides Lava Golem, of course. We're going first. Playing to that D prison was really fucking stupid. But who the fuck leaves in D prison versus frogs, you know? Um, maybe I want dust tornadoes. Some capacity. How do I beat Drill Warrior? I guess I just outpace it. Ideally. Creature Swap is good. I mean, it did work that game, but... I don't know if it's reliable enough. Hmm. 
Hmm. I wish I had like a dust shoot. That would be ideal. He has air bellum. Mirror force over creature swap. I'm gonna leave the creature swap in. I think it's fine. I think we're okay. I just need to draw like a vanity speed or something. I just didn't have a good draw last game. Like this draw is very good. Like a normal swap frog effect. Send treeborn frog. Bounce swap frog to hand. Do I want to set one of these in case he has airbellum? His one of airbellum? No. I'll just, he just doesn't have the airbellum in 41. Ah, so he plays more than one. All right, that's fine. Good to know. We're going to lose a card here, but there's no way I could have known that. He's going to hit the Ryza too. That's fucking insane. That's cool, though. We can take advantage of this, I think, in ways. All right, so we are going to lose our Treeborn. That's okay, though. We have access to another one. So it got us a plus, which is about as much as you can ask for. So I'll heavy storm now. Nice. Swap frog. Activate. Send treeborn. Attack. He's going to take 700. Main phase two. Which one of these do I want to set? Probably Wabaku, although he could have like plague into Catastor or something like that. I think this is fine. Hmm. I'm beginning to get the feeling that he doesn't play Titanial because we haven't seen Lone Fire. And I think he mentioned cutting Titanial from his deck, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it's part of the reason this matchup is even like good. Uh, I can Wabaku now to Kaya Sim, and I think that that's worth it. Especially because the Kaius can get reused here. Target is set monster. Activate Swap Frog. Return the Kaius. I'm not sure if this is the best lines for us, but I will have to threaten Roar on his turn um, at the end of the main phase one, I believe. Or yeah, yeah, I will have to threaten Roar him unless he's if he sets another monster, then yeah, I will have to threat. And main one, I'll activate threat anymore. Okay. Still pass, question mark. All right. We draw a dupe frog. Standby phase. Get tree born. Now is when I sacrifice for Caius target the reaper because I don't have a way to defend my swap frog. He takes a thousand. We've gotten a lot of mileage out of this Caius, which is kind of nice. Return the Caius to hand. Battle phase attack. Thryco pops the Swap Frog. He's going to mill three. He hits Dandelion. That's hideous. I hate that for me. At least he doesn't have enough for Avarice yet. We have an extra normal here. We can extra normal the dupe frog. And if that dies, it can search us another swap frog. Is it is it better to extra normal the dupe? Give him a Caius target? No. I think it just pass. 
I think we just pass here. Back row, perfect. Oh my god, what a draw. That's a really good draw. Treeborn Frog is going to get summoned. Oh, normal Substitute. Okay. Activate. Sack the Treeborn. Go get. Swap. Effect to send. All right. A torrential that's really nice. Sack, swap, effect to send, send substitute, sack for. Do I want to leave the flip flop frog in the deck? I think I do actually. So I'm gonna get unifrog and I'm gonna sack this and go get do frog. Do I want to kill these? Actually, hmm. No, I want to kill the back row, I think. I want to kill the back row first. Hmm. Compulsory. Target Uni Frog. That's fine. Okay. Um. Think here for a minute, then we'll pass. He can now Caius us, which is annoying. But that gives us the Caius initiative. Like, we'll win the Caius war here. Because we have our own Caius for follow up. He has to banish the Treeborn on top of summoning Caius. Like, this isn't enough, basically. He's not going to attack. He's going to pass. Funny. All right. Standby phase. I'll try to use uh, Treeborn Frog. Now, if he has Solemn here, it's pretty good for him, but I think the best play is actually to go for the Rocket and save our um, save our Caius. This plays through Bottomless as well. Drawing the Gorge is actually really good because, you know, he has to play around it. And I'll pass. Having this guy in play is pretty good. He can just pop tokens. I'll chain crow. Target. Uh. Hmm. I'm gonna target crow. Cause he'll he'll have to um. If he gets another monster in the grave, he'll have to average back the dandy anyway. So I would rather him, I would rather him, yeah, this is so nice of you. Do you have, do you have Debris Dragon? If you have Debris Dragon, then, ah, he does not. I'm trying to think what punishes me for summoning Further here, Torrential does. Okay. If I bring out Treeborn. No, I think the answer is set Dupe Frog. I think it's pop the token, set Dupe Frog. Pass. Turbo Cannon putting in that work is actually clutching for us. Ah, shit, never mind. <laughs> Maybe I should have summoned the debris. Okay, we're gonna lose turbo, turbo cannon. Happens. Standby phase, I will Typhoon the new set. It's bottomless. So you have double bottomless set. I don't even know. All right, let's bring out Treeborn. It's not Torrential, Torrential's already been used. He knows I have Kaif. It might just be another bottomless. I want to save Vanities, I think. So I'm going to go Kaif's target card trooper. 
Oh, he's got pulling the rug. Okay, that's fine. That is expected that he would have a sideboard card. We just haven't seen a sideboard card this far. All right. He's got card trooper mill three. Arabellum mind control. Jesus Christ. Haiku the Ghost Destroyer. That's pretty good. It's not going to be good enough here, though. Because we have vanities. You need ways to force through Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. He got a little greedy there summoning it. I think if he had held Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer, he might have found a way to force it through. He still might, because he can always average it back. But this is a pretty good spot for us. The vanities should go the distance. Although, he could still have more D-Prisons, Mirror Forces, Compulses. He's already used one of each, so it's pretty unlikely. He left in Trap Stun. Makes sense. He's going to grab Raikou. Raikou does out Vanities. So, pretty solid choice. Does he want to mill through with Card Trooper? Probably not. Probably doesn't even want to mill through with this Raikou, if I'm being real. Okay, um... Yeah, I think the solution to our troubles here is I want to run over both his monsters, I think. Hold up. Or do I not even want to attack the card trooper? I don't even want to attack the card trooper, actually. I just want to attack directly for 400. I think that that's the best play. I don't even think there's really a reason to attack this. It's a liability. Now he has to flip the Raikou, right put it in attack position. That's so bad for him, because then we can attack over it for big damage. Gores is gone, so we have a potential game shot next turn. So even if he pops a Vanity's Fiend, it's like, what are you doing? <sighs> this deck feels really nice. Um, it just feels really nice. It feels like... You can, there's a lot of play to it, even though it's kind of slow and like clunky in a lot of ways, there's a lot of play to it. And I think people just aren't adapted. Okay, he's going to sacrifice? No, he's going to mill three? Bruh, you have 10 cards left in deck. You about to deck out. Ryko pop dupe frog. My brother, you cannot special summon. You got brain control, take vanities. Okay. That kind of works. This is a lot of damage. It's not game, but it's a lot of damage. You have main phase two Kaius. Sack his own. Sack the vanity. Or sack his own Raiko. Target vanities. Oh, he's just going to give me vanities back. That's not good for him. That's not good for him. Well, we tag the right coat. D prison. Interesting. I don't think there's a single attack that can kill us. So we'll just pass. Setting up for kind of a big situation here. He's just passing back. We draw Caius. DD Crow on Treeborn. Okay. This is a game where I do win, inevitably, because he cannot play into Gores, and he has six cards left in deck. He still has more Avarice, though, which is kind of annoying. So, I guess we'll pass. We don't have a lot of good draws left in our deck now that both Treeborns are gone. That is a problem. But, yeah, we should be okay to win this still. I'm trying to figure out... The lines. I'm trying to see the lines. Does he have another Debris Dragon left? Yes, he does. He has another Debris. He has more Avarice. Bro. Pass the turn back. 
There's the avarice. See what he wants to target. Probably all good shit. Pretty annoying, not gonna lie. He should have been poking us with the Raiko, I feel. Maybe not, actually. He's too low. I need my fucking Lava Golems, dude. Where are my Lava Golems at? I'm eventually going to have to set an enemy controller, which is annoying. Airbellum Rescue Cat Debris Gor- Yeah, sure. Go off. Does Airbellum ladder into anything relevant? Why is he putting back Gores? That seems terrible. I should put back Kaya's. <coughs> All right, so he drew the cat. That's cool. I mean, this just plays into Gores, though. Right? No, I guess he can... No, yeah, just... He can make Bryonic main phase, too. Bounce the Gores. That's pretty good. All right. That was a good draw. I cannot lie. Now what, though? Special quick draw, too. Okay. He can make... Nitrous Warrior. That'll get him two hand rips through Gores. That's pretty good. I don't know if he has extra deck space for Nitrous Warrior, though. We'll see. Why did he pitch the Kai's? I feel like... He could have gone, like, attack with Raiko. If I drop Gores, then he attacks over the token with Card Trooper. And then main phase two, he sacks the Raiko for Caius. Caius banishes the Gores, and then I have no way to play the game. But, hmm. I probably played this game wrong. I think the turn I played into pulling the rug was stupid. I switch Card Trooper. Is he going to mill three? This is guaranteed game, right? I think this is guaranteed game. Let me do the math real quick. So if I go drop cores on the 16, he hits over. So you deal 16, 12. No, he has to go 16, 300, so it's 19. Then 100, 2000, and 26. This is the exact game. I should have said an enemy controller last turn. Shit. Um, unless if I take 16, 16, then summon both an attack, then I'm okay. Say so 16, 16, then I take 300 and 100. No, no matter how I do it, it's game. That's fucking cringe. Well, I have to hope he messes up then. Summon this guy in attack position. All right, he's going to hit enemy controller. Oh, he didn't mill with... Oh, he did mill with card trooper, yeah. He did mill with card trooper. So I just have to hope he messes this up, which he won't, but... Huh. A little bit weird. There's 100. Okay. Attack the token. Yep. Then attack directly, and I'll say GG's. GG's. That was a close one. That was a close one. He had to have an insane nut draw there at the end to win. But we were uh, not drawing anything good for a while. Kind of bricked at the end there. Not enough frogs, weirdly enough. Just burn frogs. Yeah, I think that's the weakness with this deck. The Treeborns get banished and then... Uh, it's a little bit difficult to play through. But uh, well played to Gappy. I think he played that exceptionally well. Um, few instances of strange plays, but worked out well for him. So, uh, good shit. And I'm going to be signing off. Don't forget to tune in tomorrow for the RVET. And, uh, yeah, smash like. See you guys in the next one. Peace.